Sonic and Knuckles was released 25 years ago today, October 18, 1994, not quite nine months after the launch of Sonic 3. Sonic 3 was already an awesome game, but with Sonic and Knuckles' lock-on technology, combining these games created the best Sonic game imaginable at the time. 25 years brings a lot of change, from living with my parents to owning a house with my wife with five apartments in between. In my town, small video rental chains were destroyed when the larger chains came to town, who were in turn destroyed by mail rentals, video boxes, and internet streaming. We've lost toy stores, department stores, shoe stores, and three radio shacks, but we gained Amazon.com. For those 25 years, I've had a piece of gaming point of purchase that I've never fully opened. This is a piece of in-store merchandising for the release of Sonic & Knuckles. I got this from a friend of mine who was working in one of those small video stores I mentioned. There used to be a label here, but it seems to be lost to time. What's in this box is a mystery to me mostly. There are two signs that I've removed before but put back. The rest is likely a simple cardboard stand or dump bin, so possibly not too exciting. But we'll never know if we don't get started, so let's begin. Alright, now let's get started and see what we can get out of here. So I know one of the first things is going to be uh, this. Well, two of them. Two for one. You know, a small one. And then a quite large one. And for comparison, here is the size of the game box. So, pretty big. This was something I had up on display in my room, uh, one of my rooms at one point. Um, you can see I've still got the threads here. So, that's kind of awesome. Set that aside. And then here's the smaller one. This was a, I don't re, actually, this is like um, poster tacky. I don't recall having that up anywhere, so it's just my faulty memory. And apparently, I had that up at one point too. Okay, those are the only two things I've ever had out of here, so let's see what else there is. Or is that it? $10 by mail, lock on, as seen on MTV, Rock the Rock, Sonic and Knuckles. Available October 18th, 1994 on Sega Genesis. Set that aside for a second and see what else is in here. Another MTV Rock the Rock. some uh, instructions on how this gets put together. Looks like perhaps a floor display, maybe even a counter display, but. That's awesome. Another stand here. And then this is something. Oh, kind of the poster. And of all things, it uh, has survived the worst. A lot of wrinkles in it, but like I said, I've never had this out, so that was just from uh, being batted around inside that box this whole time. And I think that's everything that's in there, so let me take another peek here. Oh, there's a little more. Hold on. Another one of those. So how this would work would be uh, these would be adhered or uh, you know slotted in in front giving that a 3d look same with this one over here and then you can take that off once the show's premiered and this whole thing stands up with the big signs on it so I thought maybe it was a game display and it's really just an advertisement for the game and for MTV. And then a small counter version of basically the same thing. So that's kind of interesting actually. You can set up a full size one and set up a small counter one. Um, and then lifesavers are rings, they're rings. I kind of remember that now. <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna put this stuff back in the box, store it back in the garage. Here we go. <sighs> so there's the other, this had come out. Very, very interesting. A small version and a big version. So, um, I'm not really interested in setting it up, but uh, that's what it was. And then the big one, which is the really nice one. People like that. I like that logo a lot. Alright, awesome. Alright, I hope you guys find a way to celebrate the anniversary. Take care.